as if we need a reason to celebrate. But today is National Moscow Mule Day. And joining us for the celebration is Little Club Restaurant. Thank you so much for joining us, Maggie and Tommy. Thanks for having yeah, us. Thanks for having us. Now, you are the owner of the restaurant, and Maggie, you are one of the managers, and you are going to be making us a fabulous Moscow Mule. We're on it. Nice. Yeah. Let's right. see what you got. Perfect. Now, she's making it nice and easy for us, but if you think you're not going to be able to make it yourself, tell me a little bit more about your restaurant. So, um, me and my wife and family opened up the little club about five years ago, and um, since then, it's grown into this wonderful farm-to-table restaurant. Uh, with a seasonally changing menu, a extensive uh, wine list, and really excellent cocktail program. Uh, so if you want to come and join us for a Moscow meal, we're happy to make that for you. Uh, or you can indulge in any of the crafted cocktails that we have on the menu or our wonderful wine list. Uh, and that would obviously accompany uh, a delicious meal. We have a really talented team in the kitchen. Walk me through what you're doing to make this Moscow meal. Sure. So I just did two ounces of vodka in each, um, an ounce of fresh lime juice, um, ice in the glass to start, especially in the copper mugs, keeps it nice and cold, um, and then topped off with ginger beer, and I'm just going to put a nice lime wheel to garnish. It's healthy. There you go. Ginger's yeah. healthy for you. <laughs> oh, what are some of the favorites on the menu at Little Club Restaurant? Uh, on the menu, our fennel and chili butter has been on there for a very long time. Ooh. Uh, we, you know, it, it, it's hard to say exactly what like a specific favorite is because the menu does change so frequently. But right now we have a trout dish on the menu. That's really Definitely excellent. Definitely one of my favorites. Uh, what else do you like, moment. Maggie? Uh, the rutabaga, honestly, is one of my favorites too. I feel like you don't see it typically shining itself in a dish. Um, the nice ajo blanco sauce on there too. So that's definitely highlights on our small plates right now. I always like to ask, what are the vibes of the restaurant? The vibes. It's, it's really like New York City, Brooklyn kind of vibes. A really right beautiful up my alley. mural in there. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's great. So, yeah, it's a little bit more eclectic, a little bit more of an upbeat uh, energy uh, with uh, a kind of like warm, intimate atmosphere. Yeah. Awesome service, excellent food, Playlist great hospitality. It's great. Yeah. How long have you guys been open and around? So we've been open at the Little Club for five years. Um, our sister restaurant, also part of our restaurant group, uh, Ristorante Lombardo, has been open since 1975. Oh, so, wow. Uh, uh, which is right across the street from the Little Club. Uh, so it's a really great little hospitality community that we've got right on uh, the 1200 block of Hurdle. And speaking of community, how has the neighborhood welcomed you and accepted you? Amazingly. Great, yeah. Right? A lot of neighborhood regulars. Yeah. And, nice. You yeah. know, even people from the suburbs come in to see us. Yeah. I want to know what your favorite on the menu is. My drink favorite, and food. Okay, drink and food. My favorite drink is the penicillin that we have right now, a scotch drink. Nice. Um, playing off the ginger vibe. Uh, ginger honey syrup, a um, little bit of lemon, and a, a scotch float as well. Candied ginger as the garnish as well. Mm -hmm. um, and then going back to that rutabaga on the stand. Staying true to the rutabaga being my favorite right now. And how about you? Uh, I'm usually, um, I, I usually dr drift towards wine, uh, but I have to, I'll pick a cocktail. The Alpino cocktail, the mm. gin based cocktail is one of my favorites. Okay. It's garnished with a fennel frond. Uh, on the menu, uh, I've been really enjoying uh, the, the steak that we have on the menu, which we actually uh, procure from another local source, uh, Moriarty Meats. Uh, oh, that's awesome. Provides our steaks for us. Uh, they do a great job. And that's served with a spicy salvachata sauce, uh, which is one of my favorite things yeah, to really eat. Good. Yeah, it's good. Do you guys have any events coming up? Or if people would like to have events with you guys, how does that work? We do. We have uh, the 27th. We're doing National Women's Month. We're doing um, a collab with Butterblock. Um, some of their female uh, pastry chefs are coming in. It'll be a pairing dinner, um, focusing on some of their pastries, incorporating some of our food, too, uh, with optional wine pairing. That'll actually be that. the Monday the 27th and Tuesday the 28th. There's actually two yes. nights you can come join us Very for that cool. dinner. Uh, yeah. We did it last year, and it was a huge success. Yeah. Uh, we sold out really quickly, so we're extending to two dates. Nice. Uh, and if you're familiar with Butter Block, you know the stuff that they do is amazing. 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 So we're super excited to have them with us. 
Well, thank you guys for coming on and making this amazing Moscow mule. I can't um, partake in the activities, but we have some crew members that would. So you guys <laughs> no, like to cheers, cheers yeah. at least. <laughs> cheers to National Moscow Mule Absolutely. Day. If they would like to come <laughs> over to you guys, your address, or for more information on the Little Club restaurant, you can head over to their website, Little Club. Uh, and that's their address right there, 1197 Hurdle Ave, on, uh, right here in Buffalo. Now we would like to thank. We would like to thank every one of our guests for coming in today, Karen McQueen, Little Club Bar, and our sponsored segment, Save the Michaels of the World, as well as the Buffalo uh, Fish Fry Babes. But now, and the Buffalo Home Show, of course, you guys have to head out there. That's happening tonight and tomorrow. Now it's time for a pop culture quiz. Our daytime Buffalo producer, James, will be asking me the questions today. And you guys can play along as well. You can yell out at the screen or tweet me. We have some in-studio guests, so they might be able to help me as well. We've got lots of help today. <laughs> Happy Friday. Happy what Friday. A show. Good food, good music, good music. Good drinks. Good drinks. That's Yeah. First question. <laughs> what movie popularized the phrase by Felicia? Friday. Very good, good, good. On Friday. All right. Yep. Uh, what car is featured in the movie Back to the Future? Oh, I don't know. Does anyone know? A DeLorean. All right. I found a friend. We got it. Uh, another classic movie. What type of candy became popular because of E.T.? Well, Reese's Pieces. Reese's Pieces. Pieces. Thank you. Go. Oh, God, I love having guests. <laughs> and uh, to be Rick Rolled is to be tricked into hearing what song? We got it. Oh. Yeah, well, uh, yeah okay. We're, this, we're doing good this time. We're doing really good. <laughs> okay. Musical artist The Baja Men released which one-hit wonder? Who Let the Dogs Out. There we go. Yeah. <laughs> Everyone's Who coming back. Who Let the Dogs Out. <laughs> wow. Oh, gosh. We have one more question, one right? One more question. Yeah, okay, yeah. Uh, Steve Urkel of Family Matters made which question his catchphrase? <laughs> I don't know. I think, goodness, I have people because it's Friday. I'm not thinking. But thank you so much again, all of our guests here. We have our musical guests here to play us out. But Daytime Buffalo will be back Monday afternoon at 3 right here on Channel 4. As always, you can find us over on our website, DaytimeBuffalo.com. We'll see you then.